What is going on, guys? My name is Unite the Clans, and this is Life in the Woods Renaissance. This is a Minecraft mod pack, and one for the ages. Unlike a lot of mine pa Minecraft mod packs, it focuses on the beauty and tranquility you can find alone in nature. And to be honest, that's how I used to spend a lot of my time in this game. I had a world where I just picked a direction, I think it was north, and I wandered and I just saw what I could see. And I think that's what we're gonna do together in this series. This mod pack adds a ton to the game, biomes, blocks, and we're also running shaders. So the world looks exceptionally beautiful. The direction we're gonna go is west. We'll spend our mornings chasing our shadows and our evenings chasing that setting sun. And I may have spawned on an island, which might be a largely untenable situation. I will need a boat to get out of here. And the ocean isn't like the ocean from Minecraft, you know. There's sharks out here. Uh, hopefully we can make it across without that. Now, guys, there won't be a whole lot of building in this series, as you can imagine if I am just going to wander and wander in a direction. We won't be stopping. We won't be setting up camp. We will live as nomads, ramblers, traveling the endless lands that are Minecraft. Now, I don't plan on reaching far lands. Kurt J. Mack has made hundreds of episodes of his Let's Play and um, has gone a very, very long way. We're just gonna walk and we're not walking to get far. We're walking to find a little peace and relaxation. Guys, I have been on a path for the last few years. Oh God, that's a whale. Uh, well, we got trees here, so we'll chop those down. I'll try and stay focused on what I was saying, guys. Um, crickets, there they are. Actually, give me a minute. Let me go grab us some basic resources, including a boat. And once we're back walking, I will uh, keep, keep telling you what I was just telling you. All right, there we go, guys. Um, yeah, what I'm gonna try and talk about in this series is, oh yeah, I suppose I should get us some food too. There you go. Uh, what I'm gonna talk about in this series is self-improvement. It is a big focus of my life. Uh, it's something I've been thinking about and trying to do for quite a long time. And um, is the sun, yeah, okay, good. Uh, the sun, by the way, doesn't just move north or east to west in this game. It arcs across the sky like late summer. Um, yeah, it's been a big focus of my life. And I think I've figured out uh, if there is a meaning to life, that's it. Make yourself as good a person as you can make yourself. Make the world around you as good a place as you can make it. And along the way, I am definitely going to have struggles. Uh, this is not a... Here's a magic trick to just be a better, more enlightened person, guys. This is uh, an ongoing, continuous struggle against your own demons and your own lack of discipline to do the things that you need to do to improve your life, to not spend your time sleeping in, um, and to get up and, and do what you have to do. And I think... I think that's probably a good place to start. I'm going to share along the way some of the tips and tricks I've learned. This looks so mountainous. I don't want to attempt to get up there. Let's stay in our boat if we can. And hopefully we'll get back to walking and living in the woods very soon. Um, this game has a habit of crashing. So I've got my render distance very, very short. Hopefully you guys don't mind the world appearing just before we get to it. Um, oh, I think this might not be... This might, yeah, okay. This might be another island. I guess we gotta keep keep going, keep sailing westward. No time to stop here if we can if we can work around it. Um, yeah, I focus on on improving my behaviors and hopefully making my life better along the way. And um, I think that all starts with waking up. And this is something I have done poorly for a long time hitting alarm clocks, snooze buttons, tossing and turning, 
and trying to steal an extra hour of sleep that ends up being not restful at all and a big waste of your day. There's some simple things you can do, though, to, to make that process of waking up pretty easy. And these are the things I, I try and take a minute to think about and do. I think the big key is having a ritual, guys. Uh, well, give me that boat. Uh, have a ritual. Have habits. And what? Did I not get that boat? What? Oh, well, guess we'll make another boat. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, have a, have a morning ritual. Have a habit. Um, and do the same damn thing every morning if you can make it happen. Most of you probably get up and go to a job in the mornings five days a week. Um, and then two days a week, you don't. Uh, and those two days a week, you should try and do what you do the days you do have to get up early and make getting up early something you enjoy and there's some really simple things one guys don't leap your ass out of bed don't hustle don't try and hurry out of bed as that alarm clock goes off it, it's a violent way to wake yourself up and it's is not the way that feels natural what feels natural is giving yourself an extra few minutes now i don't mean an extra few minutes of sleep i mean wake up gently go easy on yourself uh lay in bed for a bit and think about what you're gonna do with your day because that's the big thing with me all of this stuff it comes back to productivity and me not procrastinating and being lazy because this youtube channel i want to make this my job and only only the world class only the best at what i do get to do this full time and get to do it for a living Right, that's something that I know. And uh, hey, little birdie, get wrecked. Uh, uh, oh God, the sun is setting already. Look at the color of that water. All right, we're gonna have to get a move on. Yeah, only the best get to do that. And I think if I want to be one of those people, and that's a weird lighting glitch, if I wanna be one of those people that gets to play video games and make videos of it all day as my job, then I need to behave like I'm one of the best in the world and the longer I laze around and hit my snooze button and don't get my ass out of bed the harder that's gonna be and the less like those people I am um, so that's it I when I think about it in the morning I think about what I want to accomplish with my life and that is motivation enough to get out of bed but like I said don't do it violently just take your time get up nice and slow nice and easy lay in bed think about what you're gonna do and god it is dark already i haven't made torches all right guys i may have to dig a hole oh no okay you can make torches with these uh how do you do it i think like this like this and like this yes okay this is an amazing world okay cool uh so let's um put that in my hand and we'll just walk until hopefully we find a safe place to bed down for the night. God, this first day went quick. It went damn quick. We're going to get to practice our morning ritual together uh, <laughs> uh, in the actual morning. Um, so my um, one of the other things I do in the mornings, guys, is I, this is a simple one and one that as soon as you start doing it, you're never going to go back. Take a minute and think about how damn lucky you are, right? It's easy to get down on yourself and go, oh, I don't want to get up. Oh, I don't want to do whatever. What is that noise? Jeez. Um, there's a slime. Uh, that's not the kind of thing I want to be tangling with this time. Okay, fine. I'll wreck you. I'll wreck all your little friends, too. All right, let's put a torch down so you guys can see. Like I said, I didn't plan on this being a uh, a whole lot of combat. I would have liked to find some sheep and make a bed for the first night. But if we have to ride it out, get lost. I gotta get those little slime balls. Maybe we'll be able to make horse leashes. Okay. So, another bonus of this uh, shaders pack is my torch actually casts some light so I can just walk with it in my hand, which makes traveling at night easier. I think most of the time we're going to bed down for the night. We'll be cooking food. Um, 
crafting new tools, those sort of things. Um, is this a place to hide out for the night? It might be. It might be a pretty safe place. Yeah, there's iron and there's coal. So guys, uh, I'm going to talk about what I was just talking about, being thankful when you wake up in the morning um, after the night. Let me survive it. Let me gather some basic resources, improve our tools, and get us some coal, and uh, I'll see you in the morning. It's uh, it's not quite morning yet, guys, but the moon is setting, and I think it's worth risking setting out. Um, we're not playing on creative. There are still zombies and skeletons and slimes and creepers out here, but I think I can do my best to avoid them in the little time that's left before sunrise. Uh, and I got us some, some decent stuff. We've got torches and some tools now. Uh, and I'll, I'll probably do that at night, guys. If I'm going to stop and mine or chop down trees and craft, I'll, uh, I'll leave you out of it. Oh, I should have shoot. I should have used my a piece of iron for some shears. Lesson learned. That's cool. So, uh, that's all right. We're not going to have time to hang out here by these sheep anyway. Uh, so, I was going to talk about um, yeah, being thankful. You are waking up in a warm bed. And you are likely waking up shortly after that to a hot cup of coffee and homemade breakfast. And if you aren't waking up to those things, those are things you can make sure you wake up to. There is a coffee shop on every corner uh, in most of the world. And it's easy to do at home. And whatever it is, whatever your morning ritual is, it could be a cup of tea. And instead of eggs and sausage, it could be a croissant. But whatever it is, make it a ritual and spend some time being thankful that not only are you in a warm bed waking up to breakfast and coffee, but you're in a warm house and you live in a part of the world where you don't have to worry about dying every day, among other things. Oh, that's a pink sheep. That's kind of cool. Um, I, we're going to have to kill a couple sheep. Ideally, guys, I want to live as much in peace with the environment as possible. I don't want to slaughter every pack of animals I come across. I'd like to find ways to feed ourselves that don't involve the needless, endless slaughter of sheep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, God, I lose the sun in this forest. Oh, hi, Zomboid. I think we were going this way. I think. We'll figure it out in a minute. Um, yeah, that's one. And then this next one, guys. It is so damn simple. I, I feel stupid that... By the way, we need some armor, so... A little more endless slaughter of animals. Um, yeah, I... Um, the, the last one is so simple that I don't know how I haven't been doing it my whole life. Smile. When you wake up in the morning and you're lying in bed before you get out of it, force a smile. And it won't be forced for too long because it is such a natural thing. Um, that was the first of what I'm sure will be quite a few crashes along the way, guys. I will do my best to edit it together and somehow make myself sound eloquent. But I think I was talking about, I know I was talking about smiling and the importance of taking some time to smile. Like I said, you won't be forcing it long. It is one of the most natural things we can do. Babies do it before they learn to do a thousand other little things. And this, this looks like either a world loading error or yeah it's a world loading error that's gonna happen now uh, we'll just pretend that isn't here um it's it's an incredible process that happens when you smile guys i'm doing it right now and um it releases endorphins in your body and it just genuinely makes you feel happier and as you're lying in bed there thinking about what you're gonna do with your day, if that smile is on your face, your outlook changes. You become infinitely more positive and uh, it is, like I said, so damn simple that I wish I'd thought of it earlier and hadn't spent the first 31 and a half years of my life, or is it 32 and a half? 32 and a half years of my life uh, not smiling as part of my morning ritual. Um, then for me, it's easy. I like coffee. Some days it's tea. Today it was Scottish breakfast tea. But today, the day I'm recording this is, or maybe the day you'll get this, it's National Tartan Day. Uh, 
and me being United the Clans and dressed like this, it seems only natural that I'd celebrate with a cup of Scottish breakfast tea. Um, we continue our wander. What I think I want is large ferns. When I played last time, they were so elusive, but I don't see any here. That's okay. That's all right. Hey, that's a mouse. Hi, cutie. Um, and breakfast. Not just uh, something warm, whether it's coffee or tea. To be honest, tea is probably better for your constitution than coffee. Um, you get the same caffeine, you have the same hot drink cradled in your palms, but you don't have the crazy ups and downs of coffee and you don't need to put nearly as much sugar and cream in your uh, tea if you're anything like me as you do with your coffee. I don't put cream in my tea. I don't do that. That would be gross. Um, and breakfast. I cook breakfast. Now, I don't do this every day, admittedly. My routine is one that doesn't stay 100% consistent. Ooh, wow. Okay, let's head down here. Um, this looks just like where we started. I hope we're not where we- Oh, look, no, I've got all that crap up on your screen. Okay, it's not where we started. We've already traveled 3,000 blocks, 3 kilometers from spawn. So as much as this looks like where we started, it's not. Um, I- It doesn't matter what you do, guys. I, I don't even do the same thing every day, but feed yourself. Give yourself the fuel to go on to the last step uh, of my morning routine. And hopefully one that you might add to yours, and that's make your damn to-do list. And I promise you, I don't do this every day. Yes, large ferns. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is essential. Uh, this stuff makes you juke, I think, which, like I said, can be really hard to find. Uh, I had the hardest time tracking it down last time. How? Why am I only getting it sometimes? There you go. I'll take it. I'll take it all. Yeah, some of these aren't producing nothing. But uh, I think the jute lets you make burlap, which is key to a backpack. Which, if this round is going to be anything like my first practice run of Life in the Woods, you're going to need a little inventory space because it fills up fast with all the random things that are added to the world with the 55 odd mods in this mod pack. Alright, I feel better now knowing we got that in the inventory. Let's carry on, guys. I make it to-do lists, and um, I think, to be honest, I'm going to try and make recording this series part of it. Uh, it is hard for me to take that step from my morning ritual onto the first step of my to-do list, and I think, if I can, I'll make this series part of it. Anytime I record one of these episodes where I'm talking about inspiring you guys and living the best life you can live... I'm going to force myself to do the same anytime I record one of these episodes. I'm going to go take the thing on my to-do list that I dread and fear the most, and I'll do it. And today, that's my taxes. And if you live in Canada or the U.S. Uh, and you haven't done them yet, that should probably be the top thing on your to-do list. Uh, time is running short. Um, and when it comes to the process of making that to-do list guys you don't want to add things that are just there to be scratched off if you've already had breakfast don't put make breakfast on your to-do list and in general i try not to put on my to-do list the kind of things that can be done right here right now like this morning i had to take out the garbage that was on my morning ritual that was on my morning to-do list and um uh and I could easily slap that down on the list and do four things before it or find ten ways to procrastinate it, but that's one that takes literally no preparation. There's no mental anguish to doing it, like, say, with your taxes. You just do it. And I try and make those things part of that, that morning routine before I get into the nitty-gritty, the hard-to-accomplish stuff on my to-do list. And oh my god, guys, we are... Hi! Get destroyed! Oh, you got a friend. All right, we'll see you. see you later. Um, guys, we are at the edge of the water, and I'm going to need to get a boat and travel, and beyond that, I'm starving to death. So this feels like as good a time as any to call this episode. In the next, maybe we'll talk about to-do lists more, about how to write one, and geez, what are you? Okay. 
Or if you need something you need inspiration with, you tell me. And that's the kind of stuff we can talk about here. Uh, anytime I play Life in the Woods, we're going to walk. We're going to walk west, uh, away from the rising sun, chasing our shadow and into the setting sun. And we're going to do it as long as it takes. Um, and we're going to take in and see as much of the beauty of this version of Minecraft as we can. Guys, thank you for joining me for this debut episode. If you like it and you like the format, let me know. Hit that like button. It helps me. And if you've watched this far into this video, that's the kind of stuff you ought to do for me every damn time because it really does make a difference. It lets people know that this is a video that people love. Uh, so if you did, hit me up. And if you have anything you need inspiration with, if you are occasionally lost, unsatisfied with life like me, and you want somebody like me to talk a little bit about how to get through that, leave it in the comments. Guys, my name is Unite the Clans. This is Life in the Woods Renaissance. And in the next episode, we will continue our endless westward journey. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.